Coming into a lovely day down here in Eugen Sky. Um, we've arrived at the ferry terminal where we get the boat over to the island of Paris this afternoon. Um, so Eugen itself has got quite a thing, number of things you can do if you're here. But obviously if you have a dog, then you're kind of limited with that. But um, Pixie's been very well behaved and we had a lovely time visiting the Perry Glen this morning. Well you may have been in the boat then Pixie? Beaches are really living up to how they were built, I have to say. I just stopped at this one because of the wee passing place. So if there is a... Anyway, I'm going to get a pixie up there. It will be in slow stages, um, rather than head-on assault. We'll make over way over to the right and then just slowly go up the uh, easier angle ridge to the summit. Anyway, that will be the plan should it happen. Um, much will be up to the auspicious wisdom pixie. Um, wanted to try and get her to go in front. Where's she? On you go, Pixie. Come on. Walk in front. No, she won't do it. Um, the view to the hills of North Paris is fabulous. And it's just such a beautiful, deepening silence. Pixie. Oh, you're not a good girl. Eh? Just ignoring me. I had wanted to climb the minor eminence above Puffin Cottage on that first morning, but the auspicious wisdom pixie had other ideas. We still had a great view though. Scarista Beach, I think it's called. Very famous golf course. This way, oh, come on, Pixie, stop being a pain. The auspicious wisdom Pixie is not an aspiring pack leader. She prefers to follow in my heels, but like all lapsos, she can be stubborn. Sheep about in the dunes. Pixie's absolutely showing no interest in sheep, but um, what a beach! Hey, eh? look at the colour of that sea. It is just plainly magnificent. I'd say Pixie considers herself to be my girl man. She is, of course, much sweeter than me and much more sociable. The little one, oh little pixie. Yeah. Pixie girl. Perfect days seem to fly by. 
and there will be no sunset or daily gold on lost and dire beach. Lost and dire beach. I don't think we're going to hang about much today. As you can see, it is what a man's beach. But it's pretty. Yeah, even sea tower to say. I can't tell you the sea is dead in the lake. So uh, you don't know. That was a very quick visit. We still got a couple of days left. So we'll come back. Um, it's not too keen. It is said that the sands of Lusk and Tyre were once made of grains of gold. But a greedy man filled his boat with this fairy gold and then sold it at the market on the mainland. The fairies cannot abide such greed and they caused the great storm to rise which destroyed many boats. They also turned the golden beach back to sand but once a year at sunset they change it back again as a reminder. I have one certainty about the auspicious wisdom pixie. She is a part of my life because of Tashi. I see her through his wise oh, old eyes. God, yeah. <laughs> and I love her no less than I love Tashi. <laughs> Losing my little mountain lion was the hardest thing I have ever faced. Pixie brought sunshine back into my life. Too many dead souls with me. Harris has brought me to light. Come on, Pete. Well, 
Pixie and I are heading up towards Kirkoval. Um It's an okay day, it's quite dry, but quite windy, which I think will act as a deterrence for Pixie. And the last few days have proved that she's uh, much more of a beach babe than a mountain lion. There's someone coming along. Huge big dunes here. Um, that's Cape of Wild. There's still some considerable distance to go. And uh, not thinking Pixie's. Uh, too keen. How are you, Pixie? That's right. Whether she is or not. Good pixie. Mm -hmm. You enjoying that? Oh, big sneeze. Don't get yourself all covered in that now. At least you're not eating it with Tashi. Mm -hmm. Would you like some gammon, pixie? She is a mountain lion, and that's fine. Oh, the pixie girl, you're loving the sheep shit. Yeah. You're liking the sheep stuff. I'm going to pop into the temple cafe for another piece of that lovely carrot cake and a cappuccino before we head back, and I'm sure the pixie girl will want a good sleep, won't you, pixie? Thank you. 